steeped in thousands of years of history, silently bearing witness to the past, the living witness of three empires. Capital of architecture, graced with the greatest masterpiece of Sinan. Adorned with mosques and bridges, with dancing waters and the embrace of blue and green. This is Adirne, capital of history and culture. The Adrissians, one of the Thracian tribes, gave their name to the region and were the first to discover its beauty. Then the Persian Empire and the Kingdom of Macedon reached these lands. After them, the Roman Empire founded a city here because of its strategic location, and its name was Hadrianopolis. Over time, the city was called Edrune, Edrinabolu, and Endria. Then the city, conquered by Marat I in 1361, was called by the name of Edrine. By the end of the 17th century, the city was called Edirne and has borne this name ever since. From 1361 to 1453, the year Istanbul was conquered, Edirne served the Ottoman Empire as its capital. Edirne, which acquired its true identity in Ottoman times, became the center of culture and architectural innovation. The finest examples of calligraphy and embroidery were created in Edirne, from which they spread throughout the land. The site of developments and innovations in monumental construction, Edirne proudly claims masterpieces from the great age of Ottoman architecture. The best examples of these wonderful masterpieces are Eski Jami, the Old Mosque, the first monumental Ottoman structure in Edirne, Uç Şerifeli Jami, a mosque whose towering minarets have three balconies, Muradiye Mosque, with its stunning tile-covered mihrap, or prayer niche. The monumental Bayazid II Mosque Complex. And Selimiya Mosque, a masterpiece of world architecture. Today, each and every one of these masterpieces is still standing tall. It almost seems as though Selimia exists only for Edirne, its looming presence recalling days gone by, bequeathing its history and splendor as it brings an air of benevolence and goodwill to the city. Its four minarets soaring into the sky from a hilltop in the middle of the plains of Edirne, Selimia can easily be seen from any point of the city. Commissioned by Sultan Selim II and built by Mimar Sinan, the mosque represents the pinnacle of classic Ottoman architecture. The great Ottoman architect Sinan himself, who was 80 years old at the time, described Selimiya as a true masterpiece. Although it is actually part of a larger complex, the mosque is magnificent on its own. That's because Sinan surrounded it with a limited number of structures of modest size so that the mosque would stand out in all its glory.
The oldest and most original monumental structure of the Ottoman Empire in Edirne is the Old Mosque, Eski Jami. The Edirne Bedesten, covered bazaar, was constructed nearby the mosque in order to ensure revenue for the mosque, which set the architectural standard for Ottoman Edirne. Today, the Bedesten is still used as a bazaar. Another incomparable example of the architecture of that time is Uch Sherefeli Mosque. It has four minarets, the tallest of which is 67.62 meters high. The three balconies on each minaret are all reached through separate staircases. As the first example of this architectural feature, the mosque was named, literally, Three Balconied Mosque. Another important structure of Edirne is Muradia Mosque, which was actually commissioned by Murad II as a lodge for Mevlevi dervishes. It is adorned with the finest tile work of Ottoman decorative arts, and today the tiles continue to leave visitors awestruck. The Sultan Bayazid II Mosque Complex is one of the first large mosque complexes commissioned by Ottoman sultans. A monumental complex of structures, it housed a madrasa, a hospital, a soup kitchen and a double hammam. The hospital, where mentally disturbed patients were treated with music and the sound of splashing water, houses a health museum today. The museum, which gives visitors an idea of what typical Ottoman hospitals were like, is of great significance in terms of the history of Turkish medicine. To paraphrase the Ottoman traveler, Evliya Çelebi, the hospital provided a cure for the ill, healing for the suffering, and nourishment for the mad. Songsters and saz players also stood by to provide soothing music. The museum has attracted international recognition and prizes. It was awarded the Council of Europe Museum Prize for the year 2004, as well as the Best in Heritage Excellence Club Prize for the Best Presentation in 2007. The Rustem Pasha and Ekmekjizade Ahmed Pasha Caravanserais, the Tashhan and Devejihan, the Selimiye Bazaar, the Covered Bazaar, and the Ali Pasha Historical Market of Edirne continue to thrive today as the vibrant commercial and shopping center of the city, just as they did centuries ago. The legacy of the Ottomans is felt with each step taken in this enchanting city, where the historical bridges, fountains and hammams are still in use today.
along with the magnificent mosques of Edirne serving the Muslim community, houses of worship for other faiths too can be seen and are a visual reminder of the traditional tolerance and welcoming of diversity in the city. The Edirne train station is the last structure bequeathed to the city during the Ottoman era. Its striking architectural details are like a moving message sent from the past to the present. The historical Kirkpanar Oil Wrestling Festival is a tradition that is as valuable as the architectural masterpieces left by the Ottomans. 1361, the year Edirne was conquered by the Ottomans, is considered the date of the first festival. Every year, at the end of June or in the first week of July, international festivities are staged on the banks of the Tunja River in Saraichi, with oil wrestling matches held during the final three days of the festival. The Bash Petivan, or chief of all wrestlers, is presented with a gold belt. In 2008, the Edirne Historical Kirkpanar Oil Wrestling Festival received an award from the European Destination of Excellence. And in 2010, the event was included for inscription on the representative list of the intangible cultural heritage of humanity, which was a great source of pride for Turkey. Edirne, a city aptly described as a living museum, welcomes visitors to its Archaeology and Ethnography Museum, Museum of Turkish Islamic Works, Selimiye Foundation Museum, Shukru Pasha Monument and Balkan War Museum, and Lausanne Monument and Museum. In addition to its historical and cultural attractions, Edirne is also a popular destination for the sea and sun in Erikli and Enes on the Gulf of Saros, as well as underwater diving in the colorful sea world of Ibrije Harbor. This beautiful city where the Tunja, Merich, and Arda rivers converge, also offers idyllic pastoral settings in which to relax and frolic. Trakya University makes a major contribution to the educational and economic life of the city, while the Trakya University Hospital provides health services to both Edirne and to neighboring provinces. The economy of Edirne is dependent on agriculture, with wheat, rice and sunflower the main crops grown here. Trakya Birlik Cooperative, which produces oil from locally grown sunflower, is a locomotive for the regional economy. The Edirne Chamber of Commerce and Industry steers the commercial life of Edirne with nearly 3,200 members and 20 professional committees. The approximately 500 members of the Edirne Commodity Exchange also continue to work for the best interests of Edirne.
The leading local craft is Edirne Chiari, a decorative art form that has been practiced in Edirne for centuries. Another handicraft unique to Edirne is fruit soap. Produced here since the 17th century, the scented soap is popular for gift giving. Edirne also has a history of broom making. Miniature brooms decorated with mirrors and embroidery are traditionally given to young girls for their dowries. A city of festivals and merrymaking since Ottoman times, Edirne hosts the Kakava and Hidrelis festivals, the Brass Band Festival, the Liver Festival and the Clarinet Festival. Visitors are advised to sample the local cuisine in Edirne, which has its own unique delicacies and specialties. Edirne Liver Edirne white cheese and almond marzipan have all become recognized brands renowned throughout Turkey. Yes, this is Edirne, a world city inscribed on the UNESCO World Heritage List. Edirne awaits you, ready to share its thousands of years of history, vibrant culture and natural beauty. Edirne, capital of history and culture.